Hi guys, for today's DIY, I'm gonna show you how to make these really cool iridescent shoes. It's a nice way to add some sparkle to your shoes. If you wanna learn how to make them, then just keep on watching. The first thing you're going to need is a white pair of shoes, and no, they don't need to be Vans, and these actually aren't brand new. I've had them for about four years, and I just never wore them that much because I was so scared to get them dirty, so I decided to make them sparkly instead. Iridescent cellophane wrap, matte Mod Podge, scissors, a light pink color, I chose periwinkle, some painter's tape, foam brushes, smaller paint brushes, and a plate. The first thing you're going to do is take your tape and you want to tape off the rubber part of the shoe and this is just going to help create an even line and avoid getting paint on the rubber part of the shoe. Keep in mind, I did still get a little paint on the rubber part of the shoe, but as long as you're using acrylic paint, it's not that big of a deal. It came off pretty easily as long as you just catch it while it's still a little bit wet and hasn't completely dried on the shoe. And lastly, don't forget to tape off the logo of the shoe if it has one. Now you're going to begin painting your shoes, and keep in mind that you only want to paint a thin layer of paint, so you're just going to take your foam brush and begin applying the paint to the shoe, but make sure this is only a thin layer because you are going to be gluing cellophane on top of it, so it's just easier for the glue to stick when it's just a thin layer of paint. And fill in as much of the shoe as possible, but don't forget we're going to go back in with a smaller brush and get the edges, so don't be too worried if you can't get really close to the edge of the shoe. So now that we're all done, you're going to go ahead and take your smaller brush and fill in those areas that you missed or couldn't get to with the foam brush. After you let the shoes dry for about an hour, you want to go ahead and remove the tape. Then you're going to take some rubbing alcohol and Q-tips and go back in and remove any of the paint that got on the rubber part of the shoe. Now you're going to begin cutting the cellophane into one inch squares. Keep in mind, I didn't have to use that much. I think I only had about 30 one inch squares, so don't cut too much of the cellophane. Now you're going to take the squares of the cellophane that you cut and you're just going to crinkle all of them up and this is just going to add more dimension to the cellophane when you go ahead and glue them onto the shoe. Now you're going to begin by unfolding your cellophane pieces and you're just going to add your Mod Podge and then glue them on to the shoe. And I actually found that after doing this a couple of times, it's a lot easier to just put the Mod Podge directly onto the shoe and then layer the cellophane pieces on top. Also, don't worry about the excess that hangs over. What we're gonna do is just cut that off at the end after it's dry. So like you see here, you can have the pieces hanging off the end because you just really want one layer of the cellophane. You don't want to do multiple layers of the cellophane. After you're finished gluing the cellophane pieces, this is what the shoe will look like. You wanna let these dry for a few hours. And after you have let them dry for a few hours, you're gonna go back in with a second layer of Mod Podge, just a nice thin layer. And this is just going to help seal the cellophane pieces to the shoe. After you let the shoe dry for a few hours, you wanna go ahead and snip off the excess pieces of the cellophane just so they don't completely dry to the shoe. But after you do snip off all the excess pieces, you wanna let the shoes dry completely overnight. After they're completely dry, this is what the finished shoe will look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more DIYs. If you decide to make these, I would love to see them. Make sure to tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram at Laguna Beach Love. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!